Hey folks and welcome back. In the following video I am going to show you how you can add flow forms to your WordPress site or to your flow themes theme as well. Now if you're using a regular uh, WordPress site uh, to add flow forms uh, you can easily add the form shortcode to any content area and of course the form will show. So if you're in the form section and uh, you check out the different forms available, you will see there are also short codes available here. So you can see we have a short code and this will be basically the ID of the form. And with that, uh, you can add it to any content area. If you're inside a, th a single form, you can also see the same short code and it can be added to any page. So if you were to head over to your pages and go to a page, you could simply paste the short code in the page update the page, and then of course, the form would show up on the page as you have styled it. Now it should take your th uh, theme settings and be styled according to your theme. So if you're using flow themes, that'll be styled specifically uh, from your flow theme settings area. Now, if you are using flow themes, you may also want to add the uh, form to a contact block. So in your case, you could go, depending on your theme, you should have a block called contact and add the contact block. And then inside the contact block, of course, if you would like to use um, that specific form, you just edit that block, scroll down, and you'll find that the form option section, B part one, you can use a custom short code. And here you can paste any short code that would be for a form. So paste the form in there, go ahead, update the page, and of course, then it will use the styling options from the contact block and not from the uh, form area up here. So you should remove the uh, form section from here and then only use the contact block. Of course, you could also just remove the WP content area also as it's no longer required in this case. Then of course, you just go ahead and hit update and then once it's saved, you can go to the front end again and see it's styled within the form area. So there you can see the contact form is now inside the block. And again, it doesn't just have to be added inside a contact form block. It can, of course, be added to anywhere on the site, uh, even blog posts um, inside any block that allows uh, text basically uh, so that it can render the short code. So here, for example, we could go into this blog post and of course I come down inside the content area and maybe at the very bottom uh, of the post itself, uh, you would like to add the short code. You can do so and again, update that post. Go ahead and once it's uh, uploaded, you can then of course view the post and you'll see that it renders at the bottom here as well. So wherever you put it, it will render. Uh, in this case, I added it to the bottom of the post and you'll see then we have a contact form right here at the end. So that's how you add the contact forms to uh, anywhere in your site. Just a quick note as well, uh, as uh, I previously mentioned, but just to highlight that again, Whenever someone does submit the form, you will receive it to your email, but you can also view the entries here in the entry section and view the submission details itself uh, for that specific entry. So a great way to store the information and uh, if there is issues with the form actually submitting, you're still gonna receive that form uh, in the WordPress dashboard. So that's how you add the uh, forms to your pages, your posts, the block for the um, contact forms as well with flow themes. Uh, so go ahead, start adding the forms to your sites, create them for any pages that you need and start collecting information today.